Hello, welcome to Tricky IELTS. I'm sure you'll be fine. Nowadays, students face countless challenges due to IELTS writing module. They fail to secure higher band in one go due to which they kiss the dust. This video will help you to score higher band in IELTS writing module. Work on these points which will enhance your score in a short span of time. It's your duty to watch this video till the end. If you do so, I'm sure that you'll get more than desired band in IELTS writing module. First part which I'm going to share with you is subject verb agreement. Be very careful. Too many students ignore uh, subject verb agreement. What does it mean by subject verb agreement? It means that if you place singular subject, then you have to place singular verb. If you uh, place plural subject, then you have to place plural verb. So I'll share a uh, various example. After that, you will get your concept clear. Someone has to tackle this issue optimally as soon as possible. Many students, they, they commit a mistake and they just add here, have to instead of has to. So me, the subject is singular. You have to just add here singular verb. So then you will be able to score higher. For example, she does not like vegetables. He plays cricket every Sunday. They play cricket every Sunday. So now here in this case, you can clearly see that he plays. So means I have put here a uh, singular verb and uh, subject both are sing singular. It means subject is also singular and verb is also singular. In this case, subject is plural and verb is also plural. So means you have to be very careful whenever uh, you are writing such type of sentences. Avoid contractions. What are contraction? Contractions uh, means a short form of uh, whenever you write short form of a full form. So means uh, whenever you are writing uh, task 2 or task 1, keep in mind you will have to write formal English not informal so contractions are informal if you do so you will lose marks for example they are not they aren't so if you if you just write like this you will lose marks for example government should not have implemented strict rules and regulation so if you just write like this that government shouldn't have implemented strict rules and regulation so then uh, you will lose marks for sure Sentence structure. Uh, I, I have observed that too many students they just write uh, mean simple sentences and uh, there is no variety in their writing task one and even in task two. So you have to be very careful uh, if you want to secure more than desired band or if you want to secure seven plus, then you have to add or you have to use various sentence structure uh, like uh, complex compound, passive structures, and conditional classes. If you do so, uh, then uh, you'll be able to secure higher band. But if you just write simple uh, structures, you'll never ever get higher band. For example, democracy is a good system. Democratic countries also have so many problems. So you can just uh, add various words and you can change this sentence optimally. Like even though democracy is a good system of governing uh, democratic countries also have so many problems. Avoid repetition of words. Many students they just repeat one word uh, too many times. So means you should not repeat any word more than two times. Because uh, in IELTS uh, lexical resources uh, hold nine band. So if you just write good lexical resources, you'll be able to score higher bands, uh, especially in uh, lexical resources sector. But if you just repeat words, you will lose marks in that department and you will face problem which will affect your overall score. So try to use synonyms and uh, do not repeat words. For example, this is one of the important problems or this is one of the essential problems or this is one of the substantive issues. So try to uh, use synonyms and synonyms will help you to score higher band. Learn the difference between wordy and concise sentence. Now, uh, me, I'll just give you example that um, means what is wordy sentence and what is concise sentence. So you will uh, get your concept clear. For example, wordy sentence first, we will go through wordy sentence. The coach demonstrated some of the various techniques that players 
could use to improve their defense skill. So, this is very sentence. Now I'll just uh, share the concise version. The coach illustrated the players how to enhance their defense means. Both sentences hold the uh, same meaning, but uh, in first sentence, uh, if you just observe words, uh, means choice, uh, there are too many words, and in the second sentence, words are less, but uh, mean the second sentence is uh, hold, you can say, uh, means the, the, the second sentence is more strong as compared to the first one. So try to use uh, concise sentences in your writing if you are interested to secure a uh, higher man. If you just use um, <clears throat> wordy sentences and simple sentences, then you will lose Mars. Always use strong words. For example, I got an invitation letter from a well-known company. So instead of that, I can just use that. I received an invitation letter from a well-known company. So means uh, in IELTS writing, we have to uh, bring variety. If you have variety, if you have uh, the ability to use various words and uh, various uh, synonyms and sentence structure, then uh, you will get desirable for sure. But if you failed to do so, you will face problem. I hope you enjoy this video. If you are interested to watch uh, me or, or get videos like this, so you should pass comments. Uh, I'll make more videos. Thank you for watching.